I'm making this video because you probably don't understand just how game-changing Mega Pokemon are for Candy XL Collection. The maximum Mega Bonus can give you up to 26 times more Candy XL per catch, and on average, the bonus gives 4.5 times more Candy XL per catch on non-weather boosted Pokemon, or 0.75 extra Candy XL per catch. This means that during a community day, having a max level Mega Pokemon makes it much easier to get more than the 296 Candy XL needed to max out a typical Pokemon. High level Pokemon are helpful both for raiding and Go Battle League, and if you care about having the highest level Pokemon, then you need to care about Candy XL. And if you care about Candy XL, then you need to care about Mega Pokemon. The game is intentionally vague about the Mega Candy XL bonus. It unhelpfully explains that a high level Mega Pokemon gives a great Candy XL chance, while a max level Mega gives an excellent Candy XL chance. In this video, I'll explain exactly what that means, how insane the bonuses actually are, and how to best take advantage of them. But first, why should you care about Candy XL? Candy XL is a new type of candy that unlocks at level 31. It's different than regular candy because it's... XL? Okay, it's not really different. It's just Niantic's way of giving you more things to grind. While regular candy powers Pokemon up from level 1 to 40, Candy XL is necessary to power Pokemon up from level 40 to 50. It's also needed for some random stuff like Max Dynamax moves, which are technically Max Max moves. Did they actually think this through? Candy XL is relatively rare, so it's daunting to get the 296 Candy XL required to max out a single Pokemon. There are many ways to get Candy XL, but one of the most effective ways is via catches. Unlike regular candy, however, where you get a minimum of 3 candy for each catch, Candy XL from catching is random and comparatively rare, and its chance to drop depends on the evolution stage and level of the captured Pokémon. The impact of evolution stage is straightforward. A base Pokémon, such as Dratini, receives 0 Candy XL from this factor. A first stage evolution, like Dragonair, receives 1 guaranteed Candy XL. A second stage evolution, like Dragonite, receives 2 guaranteed Candy XL. And legendaries, like Kyurem, receive 3 guaranteed Candy XL. Besides these guaranteed Candy XL, each Pokémon can also drop between 0 and 3 Candy XL. The game randomly decides if you receive each of these 3 Candy XL independently, and the probability of each being granted is calculated as follows. The base chance of receiving each Candy XL is given by this table and depends on the Pokémon's level. For example, between level 1 and 14, there is only a 1 in 100 chance of each Candy XL being given. Since there are 3 chances, the average number of Candy XL per catch is 3 over 100, or 0.03, which is pretty bad, but the chance of Candy XL rises sharply with level. Between level 31 and 35, there is a 6 in 20 chance of each Candy XL being given. Since there are 3 chances, the average number of Candy XL per catch is 18 over 20, or almost 1 per catch. This is 30 times higher than the level 1 to 14 amount per catch, so it's clear that Pokemon level makes a huge difference. But the base chance is just the beginning. During typical community days, there is also a bonus that is described as a 2x chance for trainers level 31 and up to receive Candy XL from catching Pokemon. This doubles the chance given in the table, so for level 1 to 14 Pokemon, instead of a 1 in 100 chance of each Candy XL, it's instead a 2 in 100 chance. For a level 31 to 35 Pokémon, instead of a 6 in 20 chance, it's a 12 in 20 chance, a substantial boost. But the Mega Bonus is the real story here. The Mega Bonus improves the chance of each Candy XL for caught Pokémon of the same type as the currently evolved Mega Pokémon. The community has figured out that the great Candy XL chance from a high level Mega Pokémon means that the probability of receiving each of the three possible Candy XL is boosted additively by 10% and the excellent Candy XL chance, given by a max level Mega Pokemon, means that the probability of receiving each of the three possible Candy XL is boosted additively by 25%. These probabilities are simply added to the existing chance. So, for example, given a max level Mega Pokemon of the right type, the chance of each Candy XL from a level 1 to 14 Pokemon goes from 1 out of 100 to 1 out of 100 plus 25%. This means the chance of each Candy XL increases from 1% to 
which is a 26 times increase. Overall, this means that instead of an average of 0.03 candy XL per catch, you would get an average of 0.78 candy XL per catch. By the way, if the candy XL chance is doubled by a community day bonus, this applies before the mega bonus is applied. So, if you had a max level mega, then a level 1 to 14 Pokemon, which normally has a 1% chance of each candy XL, would have a 2% chance because of the community day bonus, plus a 25% chance because of the mega bonus, for a total chance of 27% for each candy XL. For higher level Pokemon, the increase is slightly less dramatic, but still huge. For level 31 to 35 Pokemon, the chance of each candy XL increases from 6 out of 20 to 6 out of 20 plus 25%. This means the chance of each increases from 30% to 55%, or a 1.83 times increase. Overall, this means that instead of an average of 0.9 candy XL per catch, you would get an average of 1.6 candy XL per catch. If we average across all non-weather boosted Pokemon levels, 1 to 30, we find that the average candy XL per catch increases from 0.214 to 0.964, an increase of 4.5 times or an extra 0.75 candy XL per catch. For weather boosted Pokemon levels, 6 to 35, we find that the average candy XL per catch increases from 0.359 to 1.109, an increase of 3.1 times, or an extra 0.75 candy XL per catch. This increase of 3.1 or 4.5 times in candy XL collection rate is absolutely wild. It's like automatically using two, hypothetical, XL pineapple berries on every catch. After a community day where you catch 200 Pokemon, the 0.75 per catch bonus at max mega level would amount to about 150 extra candy XL, more than half of the 296 needed to max out a Pokemon. Even if you don't have a max level mega, a high level mega would amount to 60 candy XL from those 200 catches. I hope I've convinced you that mega evolution candy XL bonuses are worth paying attention to and worth using important for at least one mega Pokemon of each type to reach max level, so that you can get the full 25% bonus for any given caught Pokemon. Particularly useful mega Pokemon are those that have multiple types, and the very best are Primal, Groudon, and Kyogre, which have three types each when mega evolved. The multiple types of these mega Pokemon allow the bonuses to be applied to many more caught Pokemon. If you don't have a mega Pokemon at max level for every type, that's understandable. To reach max level requires 30 mega evolutions, each on a different day. This means it takes a minimum of 30 days for a mega Pokemon to reach max level. At base level, you can mega evolve for free every 7 days, and at high level you can mega evolve for free every 5 days. After the first mega evolution, you require 6 more evolutions to reach high level, and a further 23 more to reach max level. So if all evolutions are done for free, it will take 6 times 7 plus 23 times 5 days or 157 days to reach max level. This is almost half a year. This is a long time to wait, and I recommend speeding it up by spending some mega energy. There's no real reason to hoard it if you have some extra. If possible, mega evolve all of your mega Pokemon every day, and within a month they will be at the max level. If needed, collect additional mega energy by walking with your mega Pokemon. Walking generates energy quite quickly. For example, I walked my Rayquaza for about 40 kilometers to gather 200 Mega Energy so that I could Mega Evolve it much more often. Personally, I have all of my Mega Pokemon tagged and go through them every couple of days to evolve all of them that have a reasonably affordable Mega Energy cost. Prioritize those Mega Pokemon that will provide useful bonuses for upcoming Community Days or other events. For example, if the next Community Day is 14 days away and you need 12 more Mega Evolutions for a relevant Mega to become max level, you should definitely go for it. I hope that this video made you care more about the Mega Pokemon Candy XL bonus and encourages you to prioritize getting your Mega Pokemon to max level and using them during community days. Leave a comment below if this was new to you or if you've already been using Mega Pokemon like this. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.